I decided to come out in 2016 and I still remember when I realized that I couldn't go on like I had and that was I just finished a rehearsal at, at Covent Garden um, and I just knew walking home I just knew knew that I was done playing females like a typical female uh, off stage I could I, I decided I could play it on stage but I didn't want to do it off stage anymore Actually, when I first uh, started looking for help in Norway to like try to understand what is what what am I going through, um, I went to a kind of support group and asking what is my rights and what help can I get from the state and what I, I know, uh, and they told me if you don't want to take hormones then they will not allow you to go through with anything and you will not get any support. So yeah, I decided to not go that way because my voice is part of my identity and it's also my instrument and it's the, it sounds like me and that's why I like it. I of course wish I could talk lower in general, uh, but I don't know how to speak, you know, naturally lower uh, without uh, straining my voice. I don't know how to do that yet. Um, so I talk like this. Um, or, you know, also I would like some beard, you know, I would love a little poop here, but no, no. So it meant that I had to, as, as in many other countries, pay for, you know, top surgery, for example, um, by myself. Actually, my friends and uh, family and other people chipped in. So I was very grateful to them. Well, the opera world has definitely been more open-minded uh, than my government. It's thanks to them that I actually dared to be myself. There helped me explore my identity a bit more because I was allowed to be my true self on stage.